All right, first pie guy here. I'm gonna make another one of these Wi-Fi uh, gun antennas. Um, as you can see, I made one there a while back. <clears throat> so I uh, decided I want to make another one and uh, isolate this piece here from everything else so it'll work a little bit better because right now it's a shorted antenna so but I want to go bigger you know why not we'll just try it see if it works so we're going to replace this guy with this guy so as you can see it's going to be a little bit longer way longer so <clears throat> I went ahead and cut out a lot of my circles I might have to cut more of these not sure yet I went ahead and drilled my hole for my uh, SMA connector um, the good thing for making these circles works out pretty good is these little templates you can make a couple circles out of them per what's going around on the internet they want one of these at 38 millimeters then the rest of these small ones at 37 but I decided to just make them all 38 I don't believe one millimeter is going to make a big difference when you're sitting here cutting them out with a pair of scissors or whatnot anyway because I had a 38 right here so I can make a really nice clean circle because if not then you have to use you know one of these compasses or if you had a CNC machine you can uh, use a CNC machine to cut these out with but I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together um, the big circle is uh, uh, 90 millimeters then you have 54 then you have uh, I had to look at the drawing again I can't remember off the top of my head I think I have it down here somewhere 68 millimeters this one's 68 54 and like I said, there should be one 38 and the rest 37, but I just made all mine 37. Forget about it. I don't think it's gonna really make a difference. So I'm gonna keep going on this and I'll be right back. All right, so what I did was, or what I'm gonna do to isolate the next element here I put a small piece of shrink on the all thread so it can't touch inside the circle. Then I put a piece of shrink over the nut here because the spacing in between this one and this one is about the width of this nut. So it kind of works out pretty well. So, so I'm going to heat this up, melt that. So it'll kind of look like this. Then I'm going to use this one for the other side. So this uh, circle here won't be hitting, touching the all thread or the nut to short the antenna out. So stay tuned. I'll be back. All right. So I got that piece on. So I just need to solder this to that there. But the uh, heat shrinks on, so I'm going to test it to make sure it's not shorted out or nothing. But I think we should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add the next piece. All right, so I finally got this on without touching anything. I had to get rid of the piece of shrink that I had on the nut and used a small piece of Velcro. So... Uh, Still got uh, heat shrink on the other nut there. 
when I just had to use a piece of Velcro for that. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my next piece and so forth. All right. Now I got this thing complete. Well, mainly all put together. I just got to solder my connector together there. But uh, each one of these is 30 millimeters apart. And uh, these are 10 millimeters apart. I just need to solder this guy on and uh, then we'll be ready to go. So I'll be back. All right, so there we go. It's done. And uh, I'll make another video testing it out. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for uh, more details and pictures uh, in case you, anybody would want to build this. So, all right, thanks.